Now we are going to make a parallelogram. Here's the properties of parallelogram. Two pair parallel sides. It's easy. Make two sets of ra railroad tracks. Opposite sides congruent. We just got to copy some sides. Diagonals bisect each other. Yeah, we can do that. We can cut things in half. One pair of sides is congruent and parallel. Yeah, I got to make one set parallel and make sure they're the same size. Okay. Opposite angles congruent. We can make opposite angles. Not that hard. It, it's lining them up, which is the hard part. And then consecutive angles are supplementary. We can do that. We can make a 180 kind of thing. It's just lining them up again with the angles. Um, so we are going to construct um, opposite sides congruent. Let's do that. So let's actually start with some sides. Now, opposite sides are congruent. So I've got to copy AB and put it over here near C. And then I've got to copy BC and put it up here near A. Now, here's a compass. You're going to grab your compass. That's your circle maker. Now, I don't just want to make any old circle. I want to actually copy something. And that's what a compass will do. So, click on your compass. I'm going to click this and make a circle that's that big. And then I'm going to take it over here, put it on C. Now I'm going to copy the circle CB. I'm going to copy that size, BC, and put it here. So I copied AB by using a circle with a radius AB. Put it over here. Because anywhere on that circle is the right distance. Let me back that up. Anywhere I make a, a radius is going to be the same size as AB. My problem is i got to put it in the right place. So that's why I do the other one. I copy the other side, BC, and put it here at A. Because any radius over here works also. But they got to both end up at the same place. And the same place is right where the circles cross. So find where the circles cross. There's your corner. It's either at E or at D. Well, pretty much it's at E, right? All right, so connect segment between two points. There is your parallelogram. If you don't believe they're the same size, we'll measure them. 4.5, guess how big this one is? 4.5, because the circle is radius 4.5. 10.08, No matter how I move this, since I copied this distance AB, it's always going to stay six. It's always going to stay the same size as AB over here. So that is one way to construct a parallelogram. If you're starting off with a, with a couple of sides, let me back it up. If you're starting off with sides, copy AB using a compass, put it at C. Copy BC with a compass, put it at A. Find the intersection of those two circles. That's where your fourth corner is. Connect the dots. And yes, opposite sides are congruent.